What's up everybody, it's Simon from Light Cub. Today, we're talking about the best knife to take with you hunting. If you've been following along with uh, some of the videos we've made before about pocket knives, you already know that I'm a big believer that form follows function. So, when you're hunting, what are you trying to do? If you're gonna be successful, you're gonna be cleaning an animal. So you definitely wanna prepare for that. If you're gonna be out in the field, out in the swamps, bushwhacking out at the lake, whatever kind of hunting that you're gonna be doing, you might run into some situations where you just need a handy knife. You can pack one knife that serves both purposes, or what I like to do is keep my cleaning knife and my handy knife separate. So I carry two knives no matter what I'm hunting from dove, squirrels, rabbits, turkey, deer, ducks, whatever it is, I'm taking two different knives and here's what they are. My handy knife is usually this one. This is a Kershaw Storm, it's a model 1475. They don't make it anymore. But I've carried this on my hip for so long that it's like an extension of me. It's even missing like some of the grip material and stuff. What I like about it, I like that it's full size. Fits my big gorilla hands, right? I like that it also happens to have a skinning blade, which is really handy. Um, it, it, I find this style of blade more handy for a beater knife than a drop point. I also like that it's a liner lock. What that means is that I can open and close it with one hand. That's key. I talk about that in, in my video about the perfect pocket knife for fishing, how critical that is. And when you're out in the field and you're hunting, this can really come in handy. Now, what do I use this for? Uh, for the most time, most part, I'm just using it for whatever task needs a knife. Uh, I might be opening something. I might be uh, trying to cut some vines out of my way, you know, something like that. So this knife is not very sharp anymore. I have to work really hard to keep it sharp. Uh, you can see it's been beat up along the edge. I'm okay with that. Again, this is my on my hip handy knife. So what do I use to clean animals with? You always want to be prepared for that success, right? You want to, you want to hope for the best here and you want to be prepared. So what I use is a buck 110. I use this because it's classic. I use it because I love it. Is it a pocket knife? Well, it can fit in your pocket. You know, it's not made to, it doesn't have a pocket clip but I kind of give Buck a free pass on the term pocket knife because they're one of the originals. I mean, they're like the pioneer of, of you know, this kind of slip joint, you know, folding knife. And so I call it a pocket knife, even though it comes with a sheath, it's made to ride on your hips. Um, the only problem I've had is that the loops really didn't last very long, um, but I used the knife to cut a couple slits and this has lasted me for 10 years without any any sign of giving up right here. So I think this is gonna last a really long time. Just the stitching that held uh, held the loops in right here and here, it just came loose. It's kind of shoddy stitching. Um, Buck's not quite what they used to be, but they're still really, really quality knives. If you get the ones that are made in America, there are Buck knives made in China these days. So keep an eye out for that. It'll say made in America on the packaging. It'll have an American flag. This one has a state of Idaho stamped on here, which is where their headquarters are. So again, this is a Buck 110. This is a classic. This is a Boy Scout knife. This is a classic hunting knife. Uh, you could see uh, I even had uh, some battery acid that dropped, you know, back when I, I used to use this a little bit more, um, but now I've just decided, you know what? I'm gonna use my beater for chores, and this is for cleaning, period. So I keep it very sharp. I keep it very clean and I only use it to clean animals. Now this is not a one hand open close because this is a lock back, right? It's a lock back knife. You need two hands. To, I mean, you can, maybe you can open it with one hand. Maybe you can open it with, or close it with one hand if you like push this and lean it against your body or do something um, not very safe, but it's really made to be open and closed with two hands. Uh, if I was going to buy a cleaning knife today. It would be different. Uh, the folding knife is nice. It's handy. 
Uh, I do, I just love the aesthetic of a, of a buck folding knife, but it's not as convenient for cleaning and washing as a fixed blade knife. So if I was gonna buy a hunting knife today, it'd be a fixed blade synthetic handled instead of a wood handle because this gets slippery when it gets bloody and with a gut hook. Uh, Buck makes a really good fixed blade you know, deer hunting knife. And since this rides on my hip anyway, it's not really that much different. It's, t it's, t it would be taller, obviously it'd stick out like this. And so it'd be taller when I'm sitting down and all that kind of stuff, but where it rides kind of on my, on my three quarters right here, um, that wouldn't be that big of a deal. If you wanted to throw a third blade in there, if you, if you are a backcountry hunter, if you find yourself bushwhacking, trailblazing, making your own way, if you are backpack hunting, if you're, you know, on a mule in the Rockies, then take with you a survival knife. Now, this is my favorite knife for camping. You'll see that in the camping video, and I get into more of why that is in that video. This is an Ontario Knife Company, but it's basically it's like a K-bar style. So it's like a military, it's a, this is a military issue. This is an Air Force issue uh, knife. And big sheath, big leather sheath, hangs off your belt. It's heavy. Um, it's heavy duty. Look how thick that is. And this is an all-purpose survival knife. So if you want to up your game, I would carry all three of those. That's what I would do. But what you'll find me doing is carrying two. One for cleaning and one for handiwork. I'm Simon from Lake Hub. Get out there and bag something, y'all. <laughs>